Tonight we have an update as RPS considers a new calendar for next school year. The superintendent right now trying to work in more instructional time and teacher planning as part of a plan to get students back on track. This is after the state growth assessment scores show disappointing proficiency levels for students in reading and math. Our Leland Pinder reports tonight on the division's engagement efforts and a new fourth calendar option. Leland? Well, Bill, at their last board meeting, the superintendent presented three new calendar options that called for some pretty big changes. The board asked for a fourth, more traditional option closer to the existing calendar, and tonight we got a look at that. This newest option, option D, calls for student classroom days to go from 180 to 179 and 191 days for teachers, which reflects the current calendar. School would run August 29 to June 23rd. Now, in addition to more instructional time, the division is trying to increase social and emotional learning time and build in more breaks, among other things. On November 29th, the division survey for families and staff went live, garnering more than 3,000 responses so far. It closes on the 24th. RPS is also holding virtual town halls and several community walks are underway right now across the city to engage families directly. We were there earlier at one of those walks in Hillside Court in South Richmond. It seems like families are leaning more toward keeping things the same. We've had some families that have noted that they do think the additional support is necessary just because of the, the gap that has happened with COVID. Um, but a majority of families are leaning toward keeping it the same. Well, one thing every calendar has in common is the school year starts before Labor Day. However, where the plans differ is cost. The superintendent says option D presented tonight would come at no additional cost to the division. However, costs to implement options A, B, or C range between eight and $13 million. That would come from federal stimulus money and state grants. If you'd like to take a look at those uh, first three options again, we'll have details for you on WTVR.com.